Okay guys, so Ecraft Geeks are back with a new topic for you to learn. Multi vibrator. A multi vibrator circuit is nothing but a switching circuit. It generates non sinusoidal waves such as square waves, rectangular waves, sawtooth wave, etc. Multi vibrators are used as frequency generator, frequency dividers, and generators of time delays and also a memory elements in computers. A transistor basically functions as an amplifier in its linear region. If a transistor amplifier output stage is joined with the previous amplifier stage such a connection is said to be coupled. If a resistor is used in coupling two stages of such amplifier circuit it is called a resistance coupled amplifier. Okay guys, so what is a multi vibrator? According to the definition, a multi vibrator is a two stage resistance coupled amplifier with positive feedback from the output of one amplifier to the input of the other. Two transistors are connected in a feedback so that one controls the state of the other. Hence, the on and off state of whole circuit and the time period for which the transistors are driven into saturation or cutoff are controlled by the condition of the circuit. The following figure shows the block diagram of a multi vibrator. There are various types of multi vibrators. There are two possible states of multi vibrator. In first stage, transistor Q1 turns on while transistor Q2 turns off. In second stage, the transistor Q1 turns off while transistor Q2 turns on. These two states are interchanged for certain time period depending upon the circuit condition. Depending upon the manner in which these two states are interchanged, the multivibrators are classified into three types. They are a stable multi vibrator. An a stable multi vibrator is such a circuit that it automatically switches between the two states continuously without the application of any external pulse for its operation. As this produces a continuous square wave output, it is called as free running multi vibrator. The DC power source is common requirement. The time period of the states depends upon the time constant of the component used. As the multi vibrators keeps on switching, these states are known as quasi stable or half stable states. Hence, there are two quasi stable states for an unstable multi vibrator. Monostable multi vibrator. A monostable multi vibrator has a stable state and a quasi stable state. This has a trigger input to one transistor. So one transistor changes its state automatically while other one needs a trigger input to change its state. As this multi vibrator produces a single output for each trigger pulse, this is known as one shot multi vibrator. This multi vibrator cannot stay in quasi stable state for a longer period while it stays in stable state until the trigger pulse is received. Bistable multi vibrator A bistable multi vibrator has both the two states stable. It requires two trigger pulses to be applied to change the state. Until the trigger input is given, this multi vibrator cannot change its state. It's also known as flip flop multi vibrator. As the trigger pulse sets or resets the output and as some data that is higher or low in stored until it is disturbed, this multi vibrator can be called as flip flop. 